everyone, welcome. I am Paula and me and my husband Ed live a keto low carb lifestyle. And uh, today I'm gonna be doing a vlog video uh, showing you what our meals are throughout the day on a low carb diet. And the last video I said I was gonna put the macros on the screen and I did it for the first meal and then I completely forgot to add them. As I was watching the video back after I edited it, I'm like, oh, I forgot to put those macros in there on the screen. So sorry about that. I'm gonna try to do that today for each meal. I'm gonna add a little picture, it'll be right here on the screen somewhere, that shows my macros for each meal that I eat. I count total carbs, not net carbs, and I tend to stay around 10 grams or less total carbs per day. Some days I go over, but never really go over 20 grams per day. Um, I eat a meat-based diet and I include a little bit of vegetables as a garnish. Um, I eat some onions and some lettuce and some garlic and some pickles and some cucumber, things like that. Um, some vegetables I have learned do not do well with me. And so I have dwindled that list down, uh, but I still do enjoy having a little bit of vegetables as a garnish with my meals. So today we're at the lake, Sapphira right there. It's gonna be a sunny, beautiful day. Uh, a couple days ago, it was the eclipse, and I put a post on YouTube, a community post, where uh, me and Ed did get to enjoy the eclipse. We sat right here on the deck, and the eclipse was right over the lake here. We didn't have total darkness, but we did get some darkness, and it was really cool. We were able to use Ed's welding mask and view the eclipse. Let me know if you got to view the eclipse. Some people said that it was cloudy where they were, and they weren't able to view it, um, but we had a very clear day like today, and we were able to enjoy it. This morning, we've already had our coffee. I always put a little bit of cream in my coffee and a scoop of collagen. Um, I've really been upping my collagen. I'll show you what collagen powder I use here in a little bit. I am going to do a coffee bar tour. If you've been watching, you will see that we have been doing some remodeling here at the lake and we ended up ripping a desk out of an area under the stairs in our living room and we bought a 100 to 200 year old barn wood crafted uh, like buffet type piece of furniture and I turned it into a coffee bar and people have been asking for a tour now that it is all uh, set up. So I'm gonna do that in a little bit and I'll show you the collagen powder that I've been using. Uh, the past few days I have been super busy. I have been getting rid of so many things, uh, especially kitchen stuff. I've been cleaning out cabinets and uh, getting rid of a lot of uh, mismatched stuff and uh, replacing it with matching stuff. We're just trying to um, update things and make things a little more clean and organized. And I've been um, collecting a lot of different mismatched things for a long time. I have about five boxes I have to put in my car and take up to the thrift store for donations. And then when I come back, we're gonna have our breakfast and I don't know what it is yet, but when we find out, I'll let you know what it is. I'll see you then. I wanna tell you all about something. I am in my closet right now, sorry about that, but I had to come in here where it's quiet and just tell you about this supplement that I have just started taking a couple weeks ago. Um, so I have done videos before on the supplements that I take and this supplement, I just got it on Amazon. I don't have like, I can put a link for this down below, but I'm not like an affiliate for this or anything. I just was doing some research and I'm always like researching and trying to learn more and more about this healthy lifestyle. And I saw somewhere where uh, glycine is really good. This is good for nervous system. It's also good for, uh, for good restful sleep. And so I just thought I would get some and start taking it. And I'm just taking the recommended dose that's on the package and I'm taking it at night before I go to bed. And not that I've had problems with sleeping before. I don't normally have problems with sleeping. I usually go to sleep pretty good and I usually wake up feeling rested. But since I started taking this, I 
have had the most restful sleep. Um, even Ed had mentioned the other day that I'm not tossing and turning and, you know, waking him up, just moving around a lot. I'm sleeping very still. But the funny thing about it is I'm not a person who remembers my dreams. I just don't have vivid dreams um, every once in a while, but it's just not something that is normal for me. And I know that when you're in a deeper sleep, that's usually when you do your dreaming. So since I've been taking this at night, I have been having the craziest dreams. I have been getting up in the morning and having coffee with Ed and telling him about these, all these details in these dreams that I've been having. And it's unusual for me because I just don't have, I don't remember, you know, these vivid detailed dreams. But ever since I've been taking this, I have been really sleeping very soundly and having dreams and remembering them when I wake up. So I know that you can find glycine in a lot of foods that we eat, but I just thought I wanted to try taking this. I'll link this down below. It's just by now. Yeah, now. And I just get it on Amazon. And I just, like I said, been taking the recommended dosage and I've been taking it before I go to bed in the evening. So I just wanted to talk about that. Now, I'm not a doctor or a nutritionist and I'm not saying you guys all need to go out and buy this glycine and take it. I'm just sharing what has happened with me and I want you to do your research just like I've done the research. Make sure that it doesn't interact with any of your medications or anything. I'm not saying take this. Um, it has just worked really good for me for restful sleep. All right. All right. So I'm going to go in there and we're going to make breakfast and then we're going to get to the coffee bar tour. So I'll see you then. All right. Ed is over here cooking up some breakfast. We got some pork sausage, some onion. What are you making? Um, Let me see your shirt. <laughs> Ed's making us up some omelets. We're going to have pork sausage, stuffed omelets. They're going to be great. Kitchen's getting back together here. We've got our backsplash all done. Working on getting things cleaned up and back in place. And in just a little bit, we're going to go over here and show you the coffee bar. I'm going to show you the different flavored drops that I have for coffee, sweeteners, collagen powders, all of that, um, and just a little bit right after we have breakfast. All right, so breakfast. I'm gonna show you this omelet. This is a three egg omelet. And this is, um, I have pork sausage with onions and cheese, cheddar cheese. Look at that, it looks so good. Ed's gonna flip his omelet. And then I have some coffee. I'm gonna go over there and show you his omelet making skills. Three eggs, farm fresh. Gotta use your farm dust. Farm dust seasoning. I'll have to link that down below because everybody always asks what that is. We get it at an Amish market nearby, but you can get it on Amazon as well. A lot of other uh, Amish stores carry it. So if you notice how Ed bunches the eggs, Show them how you do the little bunching. I drain the juice down like that. It makes the omelet thicker that way. I'm gonna do the omelet flip. What a pro. <laughs> Almost perfect. You know what? That's okay, folks. It goes down the same way. You're gonna have some cheese and some sausage. Just put it all together. Let it all melt. All right, I'm gonna go eat mine, it's getting cold. Good job. Okay, so first time this year, Sapphira jumped in the lake. She has not came close to getting into this lake because it's been so cold, but today she got in and it starts.
All right, so now I'm gonna show you my coffee bar, my coffee nook, um, whatever you wanna call it. Uh, I'm gonna show you the things that I have on top. I'm also gonna show you the different sweeteners and flavors and different things that I have underneath in the cabinets that are keto friendly. Um, I like to have my coffee all different kinds of ways. Some days I like to have it unsweetened. Some days I like to have it sweetened. Um, Ed is a black coffee guy. He doesn't like all the foo-foo stuff he calls it, but I like all different kinds of coffee. Um, also tea. So I'm gonna pan out a little bit here and you can see that there's the upstairs and this is a stairway. And underneath here, there used to be a built-in desk. And we didn't really use the desk. It just was a spot that collected a lot of junk. People would come in from outside or you know wherever, and we would just pile stuff all up over that desk. And I really didn't like it. So we ended up ripping that desk out and ordering this 100 to 200 year old barn wood reclaimed, um, crafted buffet, cabinet, credenza, whatever you wanna call it, off of Etsy. I found it on there. The guy had some really beautiful stuff and it was great, you guys. He is in Ohio, we are in Michigan. The freight company that delivered it, brought it in, set it in place for us and it was just, just great. There goes my cat. So um, I'm gonna start by showing you what is on top of this coffee bar. The only thing that's really missing from this coffee bar that will eventually be on this coffee bar is my Nespresso machine. It is back home. And those of you who have been following me for a long time know that I love my Nespresso coffee. Um, this does have a Nespresso pod option. I'm going to show you that in just a second, but it's just not the same as my Breville that I have at home. In the mornings when we get up, we like to make a full pot of coffee and we drink coffee in the morning, both of us. And so um, it's just better that way for us. It's more cost effective to make big pots of coffee and that's what we do. But I, on occasion, like to have a cup of coffee and I don't want to make a whole pot. So that's why I have my Nespresso machine back home. This coffee maker in particular is a Ninja and it has a Nespresso option. This machine has the option of regular coffee, it also has the Nespresso option. However, it takes these little, let me find one, these little pods and it only makes these little espresso size cups. That's why I have these cute little espresso mugs here, but it'll only make a little shot. So if you want to have a quick espresso mixed with some cream, or if you want to make, a lot of times I will foam up some milk inside of this frother and pour it in with the espresso, or you can put the espresso in your regular coffee just to make it a little stronger. This also makes over iced coffee, which it only gives you a little shot of espresso, and then you have to put your coffee or your milk or whatever else in there. My Nespresso maker back home makes the big pods and it makes like a full cup of coffee. Um, and they have a lot of different flavors and I just really, really enjoy that machine. But this one here, um, it suffices while we're here. Um, I'm able to have some foam in my coffee. And so I like this Ninja machine. It also has on the side a little built-in frother here. Let me show you. You can pull this out and you can froth your coffee. The only thing is it does not heat the milk up or the cream when you're frothing it. It just makes it into a foam. So this also has a nice little handy scooper here on the side. But that is why I have my little milk frother over here because this milk frother, my son bought me this years ago. I have a different one back home that I use. It is, uh, it came with my Nespresso. It's a Nespresso brand. Um, this one I tend to like better. This will make hot or cold foam. And I've had it for a really long time. And I just 
like to put a little bit of milk in here. I like to use like the lactose free milk on occasion. I will put my heavy cream in there or my half and half and just froth it up a little bit and heat it up and pour it into my Nespresso. And it's just really nice. That's why I have that here. This here is a cute little spoon. I got this off Amazon. It is for your coffee bars. By the way, I'm gonna link all of these things down below in case you are looking for coffee bar items. And uh, that way you will have a list you can go to right away and go you know, find these things. But I kept finding myself making my coffee and then having to run over to the kitchen to the drawer to get a spoon. And then I saw this and I thought, how cute is that? It has its own little ceramic um, like spoon rest and you got a little spoon there anytime you need to stir. And then I have a coffee mug tree. I just received this this past week with these new coffee mugs. Um, we, I, I kid you not, I just donated it must have been 20, 25 coffee mugs to the thrift store. Um, I have a couple of very special coffee mugs down here below that I'm going to show you in just a minute that we have held on to. But I got rid of a whole bunch of coffee mugs. I wanted to have these um, nice matchy ones here on the counter. Then I have my ember. This is my heated coffee mug. This is when I am going to be busy maybe filming or, you know, doing some activity around the house, cleaning, and I've got my coffee. Your coffee stays hot in this. Like, this will be sitting here for an hour, and steam will be coming up. It stays hot. It's very nice. I will link that down below as well. This is my Element teapot. Element, unfortunately, does not sell these to the public. They had a giveaway challenge going a few months ago, and they sent out to all of the affiliates, a teapot like this, and some element chocolate. And they wanted us to use that in our commercials. And then we had a giveaway. Okay, so this right here being under this little nook at night, this little area gets dark, especially when we're sitting over here watching TV in the dark. I've come over here a few times to make like a hot cup of tea and I couldn't see what I was doing. So I had to turn the big light on and light up the whole house. Well, I found this really cute little touch lamp from Amazon, link below, and it is just a touch light and it will come on. It has um, three, yeah, three different brightness, brightness, brightnesses where you can come over here and just touch this and turn this on so you can kind of see what you're doing. Or you can just have the low little light on as a little accent light. It's very cute at night. And so I got that very cheap. It was like under 25 bucks for that light. I really like this light. It just sits, it came with the light bulb and this thing just sits on top of here. So now we are gonna go down below into the cabinets and I'm gonna show you what I have. This cat, Callie, is always trying to get in my videos. But anyways, this is, I'm pan out a little bit here. These are like the barn door sliders. Very heavy hardware, very well made. I really highly recommend the seller who um, makes these. All right, so I have my coffee here. We like the Tim Hortons ground coffee. I just get this off of Amazon. Back here, I have my little coffee filters. That coffee, that Ninja Coffee Maker does um, use the cone-shaped filters. And I have some teas back here in the back. I have a bunch of these. These are the little coffee Nespresso pods for that Ninja Coffee Maker. And if you have a home goods near you, they sell these little packs of different flavors for really cheap, all different kinds. I mean, I have a whole little assortment back here of different flavors that I picked up from home goods. I got my hot tea back here. I have more tea in here too, but this is kind of like overflow. And then this is what I really wanted to show you. I have been using these drops for a very long time. These are Stevia sweetened drops and <laughs> my cat's tail. And I get them on Amazon and I love these drops. They're perfect for your coffee. You can also use them in your yogurt to flavor your like plain Greek yogurt. You can also use them like in any kind of like chaffles or anything that you're baking and you wanna give it a flavor you can use these, but I use them a lot for coffee. It's a cinnamon, 
And we have Valencia Orange. I bought this for yogurt. This is really good mixed in Greek yogurt, not in coffee. Um, I have a coconut flavor here. And I have pumpkin spice. This I use around, you know, the fall months when pumpkin spice is all the rage. I don't really crave pumpkin spice anytime except for in the fall. Um, then I have a chocolate one. And this one right here is my favorite. This one is almost gone. I've got to order some more of this. This is the English toffee. This is so good in coffee and it is great in iced coffee. So I will make an iced coffee and I will put four or five drops of this in the iced coffee with some cream and it is so good. It's like having a coffee house iced coffee. And then I have peppermint here in the front. Really good in hot cocoa if you like a little peppermint in your hot cocoa. And then I have a vanilla cream. And over here, I have some stevia glycerite. I don't use these in coffee. This is pomegranate blueberry, and this is cinnamon vanilla. These are delicious in yogurt. You just take a few drops of this and put it in your yogurt and give it a stir, and it gives it a really good flavor. Um, so I have those for that. This is just um, uh, liquid stevia. Then here's some sweet drops. They are similar to these. They are sweetened with stevia. This is caramel. This is really good in coffee. And then I have these fruity ones that I get from Aldi. These are pretty clean. These have, I don't have my glasses on, but the sweeteners in these are pretty good. Um, I have black cherry. I have lemon. I have the mixed berry. Um, some more lemon. Some more lemon. What we like to do with the, oh, this is Tropical Punch. What we like to do with this lemonade one is we will make plain tea in the summertime, like iced tea, and we will put this in it as a sweetener and also lemon. And it is like having an Arnold Palmer. It's really good in tea. So I have those. Those are all sweetened with stevia as well. I have some Zollipops. Um, these are the Zolitol lollipops that are keto friendly. We really like these. Don't eat a lot of these, but once in a while, I just want a little piece of hard candy. And my grandsons also love these. And they are a great little treat. And Zollipops, if you've never heard of them, I get them on Amazon. They have uh, sugar alcohol in them. So they end up being zero carbs per sucker if you don't count the sugar alcohols. And so we have those down here for the grandkids and for us if we want a little sweet hard candy. In the back here, I've got just my, my French presses. Um, this is just Tarani Pure Made Syrup. That is like a simple syrup. It's a very clean, it's sweetened with monk fruit. And I believe there might be some stevia in this as well. This is good to like put in your iced tea in that. And then I have some extra coffees down here. This is just death. This is Death Wish coffee. This is pumpkin chai. This was really good back in the fall. Um, and some of that Gavalia or Javalia, however you say that coffee. So in the drawers here, in the top here, I have an assortment of the little uh, Nespresso pods. And I have straws, my little hand blender. And then I have some monk fruit sweetener. This is for anybody who wants to sweeten their coffee with like a granular granular sweetener. I have the true lime and the true lemon crystals back here. And then in this drawer, this is really nice. Look at this. These are that soft touch drawer. So nice. All right. And down here I have my tea. Um, there's This is a really nice tea organizer. You can just pull it out here if you're a tea drinker. This is great to have. It's got all these little compartments in it where you can have your hot tea. We drink tea on occasion. Um, and then this is also for guests who like to have tea who are not necessarily coffee drinkers. And then down here I have sort of a junk drawer. <laughs> some pens and some wax melts. This is... Um, these are soy wax melts that a lady that works at a restaurant up here makes. And I bought a few of them off of her for my wax melter. And then a junk drawer. Everybody needs a junk drawer, right? Tell me you have a junk drawer like this in your house. We have little tools and 
this is just starting to grow because you know this is this is a new drawer but we usually keep you know um just junk <laughs> that's why they call it a junk drawer all right now i'm going to go to this cabinet i have my element my collagen all of that i have some very special coffee mugs right here in the front one of my viewers bought me this fabulous coffee mug i just love this coffee mug so much look at those udders um, I love drinking coffee out of this. It is huge, and when I feel like having a giant cup of coffee, I will pull this out, and I just feel so special when I use this mug. And then I have in the back here my LCR for Life mugs, Low Carb Revelation. We have a merch store. You can shop. It is down below where you can get coffee mugs. I have some different ones with different sayings on them. You can get merch. You can get uh, you can get t-shirts, hats, all of that to help support our um, channel. And then my daughter-in-law got me this mug, all right? I love this mug so much. I had shared with her a picture of this mug, and she ended up ordering it for me. And I just love this little thing. Look at that little butt cheeks. This is like an espresso size coffee mug. And so got that. And then this is Ed's favorite coffee mug. He uses this coffee mug all the time. This one was handcrafted by someone and I bought it in a thrift store. It was a clay glazed coffee mug and he just loves it and he would not let me get rid of this. So that is Ed's favorite. And then when we are outside and having a cup of coffee, Ed likes to have his Yeti. And my element, all of my element here, this little bowl, it's a crocheted bowl. I bought this in a little craft craft fair and i just love it i think it's perfect for holding my element and then i have right here some iodine drops i i put this in my water every single day when i mix up my element this iodine goes in to my water my collagen powders i am a new affiliate for this company marigold and they have some really good collagen powders. And then I have one back here that they sent me. I have not tried yet. It is a hot cocoa collagen. And they also sent me this pure protein dairy-free latte. I have a discount code. Code It is LCR, all capitals, for Marigold Foods if you want to go and shop there. Um, the link is down below. They have a lot of different things. They have protein bars and protein powders and all of that. And these are, this is a company called Further Foods. They have really good collagen powder. The one I have been using the most lately is this one by Equip. The same company that I buy my Equip Prime Protein Powder from makes grass-fed collagen and this one is chocolate this is really good in coffee it is like a drinking a mocha when you mix this in I have the unflavored at my other house and you can mix it right in your coffee and it does not taste like you have anything in there and you're getting your extra collagen and these are very clean I really like this company of Equip they have really clean protein powders and collagen. They also have some other things there. If you want to go and shop, the link for Equip is down below as well. This is my coffee bar tour. I love it. It is a perfect place in the center of the house because we love our coffee, we love our tea, we love our element, and the cat is thinking about jumping up there. She never has done that. Let's see if she does it. Hey, don't jump up there. No. She's really wanting to be in this video. All right, so I'm going to go ahead and go for now. Dinner tonight, we're going to have three different meats for dinner, so stay tuned. All right, so it is dinner time. It is 10 after 5, and we are making dinner. And like I said, we're going to have three different meats. Um, Ed is grilling some steaks right now on the grill. They are ribeyes. They're pretty thin ribeyes, so I thought I would make them with some other meats tonight. I have over here in my air fryer some chicken tenders that I breaded with my crispy breading recipe. I will link the recipe down below. I will also try to put the video, I think I have a full video on the crispy breading that I will link at the end of this video. And I have some cod for Ed that I breaded. All I do is I dip the 
um, chicken or fish or whatever it is that I'm breading in egg and then I dip it in the crispy breading and then I air fry it and so let me show you this is the chicken it wouldn't all fit in the air fryer so I'm doing it in batches I have my egg my crispy breading I keep it in the refrigerator and I wanted to show you these really cool plates that I got off of Amazon um, they come with this fork and knife and they are wood and they have this little groove around here where you can have meat and with the juices and that they're not going to run off your plate and i got some butter with some herb butter here for dipping with the steak and then i got some tartar sauce for ed and then over here i've got some sugar-free barbecue sauce for me and some a little bit of butter for my steak i'm not going to be having fish so i don't need the tartar sauce i'll be back when it's all done all right, this is Ed's Surf and Turf dinner. It's really good. I'm getting ready to plate mine up. All right, so we're getting ready to eat dinner. Steak, chicken. I'm gonna go ahead and go eat, and then I'm gonna grab a cup of coffee off that coffee bar and enjoy the rest of the night. So I hope you enjoyed this video. Make sure you subscribe, thumbs up, and I'll see you really soon. Have a great day and God bless.